What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. John Wick 4 will begin filming this June, and unlike the first three films, which take place mostly in New York City, John Wick 4 will be an international affair. Shooting will take place in Berlin and Paris, as well as in New York City and Japan. Previous plan for John Wick 5 was to shoot John Wick 4 and 5 back to back, but now the plan is just to shoot 4. Fast and Furious 9 is keeping things in the family, as Vin Diesel's real-life son Vincent Sinclair will play the younger version of Dominic Toretto, the character played by his father. The film was scheduled for release in the early summer of 2020, but it got pushed back a year. F9 was recently delayed to June 2021 in the hopes that more theaters will be open by that time. The movie remains one of the most anticipated movies of the year especially thanks to its major plot twists, the arrival of Dom's never-before-seen brother Jacob played by John Cena and the return of Han. F9 has added a new name to its impressive cast list, and it's none other than Vin Diesel's son, Vincent Sinclair. TMZ reports he is playing a younger version of his father's character, and this role marks the big-screen debut of Vincent Sinclair. Disney has announced the delays of six of its major releases for 2021, including Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Free Guy, and The Kingsman. The studio has been forced to move most of their 2020 releases into 2021, including two Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, Black Widow and Eternals. Shang-Chi will now arrive in theaters on September 3rd. The move follows the announcement that Black Widow will now debut July 9th in theaters and on Disney Plus's Premier Access. For now, Shang-Chi will still be an exclusive theatrical release. The move won't affect the November 5th release date of Eternals. Marvel Studios will release four films this year for the first time with Sony's Spider-Man No Way Home arriving in December. Along with the MCU, Ryan Reynolds' video game comedy Free Guy will now arrive in theaters on August 13th, while the Kingsman prequel movie will debut on December 22nd. Disney also announced that Cruella will arrive on Disney Plus Premier Access the same day as its theatrical release, May 28th, and the Pixar film Luca will now exclusively release on Disney Plus as a regular free title for subscribers on June 18th. Helen Mirren joins the cast of Shazam! Fury of the Gods to play a new DC Extended Universe villain. The original Shazam! hit theaters in 2019 to overwhelmingly positive reviews. With Zachary Levi's fun-loving superhero in the lead, the film was a decent box office success thanks to its moderate budget. Warner Brothers and DC Films immediately began working on Shazam 2 with director David F. Sandberg returning to the franchise. Helen Mirren is joining DC's Shazam! Fury of the Gods in the villain role of Hespera. The character doesn't have a clear DC Comics counterpart, but is described by the rap as a daughter of Atlas. Atlas is indeed a character in DC Comics. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier has been an immediate hit since it debuted last week, so much so that American OTT platform Disney Plus has ranked Marvel's live-action presentation as the most-watched series premiere ever beating out The Mandalorian Season 2 and WandaVision for the top spot. The series feature Anthony Mackie as Sam Wilson, aka The Falcon, and Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes, aka The Winter Soldier. The six-episode show was released worldwide on March 19th, the duo, who last starred together in the final moments of Avengers Endgame, has opted to face the realities of a post-blip world in the series. They team up for a global adventure that tests their survival skills as well as their patience. Marvel Cinematic Universe is set to release more series in the coming months, including Loki, Hawkeye, and Miss Marvel. Disney's upcoming live-action film Cruella will reportedly receive a PG-13 rating. Emma Stone stars as Estella whom Disney fans know as the main 101 Dalmatians villain, Cruella de Vil. Cruella takes place in 1970s London and will chronicle Cruella's backstory as Estella embarks on her career as a fashion designer who ends up becoming fixated with Dalmatians and the pattern of their fur. Cruella also features Emma Thompson as Baroness von Hellman, Estella's boss, and Paul Walter Hauser and Joel Fry as Cruella's henchman. Cruella is set to premiere on May 18, 2021. Resident Evil Welcome to the Raccoon City is the official title of the upcoming reboot. The film will be directed by Johannes Roberts and will serve as a complete overhaul of the film series based on the long-running video game series. Paul W.S. Anderson originally kicked off the Resident Evil film series with 2002's Mila Jovovich Starrer. 
That series spawned six films and went on to gross over $1 billion in box office, but was still criticized by fans for drastically departing from the story of its source material. That is all set to change with the upcoming reboot, which will adapt the first two video games in the series and hew much closer to the original story. The film is set to star Kaya Scotoladario as Claire Redfield, Robbie Amell as Chris Redfield, and Hannah John Kamen as Jill Valentine. Welcome to Raccoon City will be set in 1998 and follow its characters as they explore the secrets of the Spencer Mansion. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.